What are you doing? Show everybody, show everybody how you sit down. Come here, sit down. Come here, this is how we do it over here. Oh yeah, we're going to rub on that belly right there, we yeah. my pain right there. Hey guys, Chunky C here. As you can see, I got some batteries on my workbench getting ready for a, a little bit of a weekend of flying. Hopefully if the weather hangs out and uh, we can uh, get rid of this rain that we're going to have. I hope everybody's going to have a good Thanksgiving weekend. Get ready to eat some grub. You know, get your fill of the trip to fan and fall asleep on the couch or watch football, whatever you're going to do. Uh, as I was going through my batteries, I realized there's something that I kind of wanted to talk about, um, and it's storage charge. Uh, this is something that a lot of folks may not really know about, and they don't really discuss a lot of it on YouTube. Um, if you read, you know, some of the, uh, the manuals and everything on some of the batteries, they say when you get done using the battery, if it's going to sit for any length of time, put it on a storage charge. Well, if you read closely on some of those, it says maintain a storage charge. And what that basically means is, is you have to keep it up. Um, you can't go out and fly, come home, put your battery on storage charge and let it sit for six months. You have to actually maintain it. So what I do, what I'm doing right here right now is I'll go through about once a month and I'll go and I'll check all my batteries and I will actually put them back on my charger uh, and refresh the, store, the storage charge. Uh, LiPo batteries will bleed off some energy over time. If you take a LiPo battery, put it on the storage charge and just let it sit there for six or eight months, you'll probably come back to a battery that's completely dead or depleted or at least close to it, or it's gonna be bad enough to where when you put it on your charger, uh, it's going to give you an error and say, you know, your voltage is too low. So a lot of the maintenance manual, the uh, directions and everything, they don't cover that. But uh, I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. Just want to make this little quick little short video, you know, to let you guys know, uh, you know, by all means, whenever you go out, charge your batteries, go fly your planes. But when you come back, even if you flew them and it says 3.8 volts, Go ahead and put them on the storage charge and, uh, you know, let them uh, balance out. Um, I'll even go so far as if it's a battery that's been sitting maybe uh, two, three months. You know, I have some batteries that I just don't use that often, the planes that I don't fly that often. So I will actually put them on a charge with my charger. I'll charge them up let them stabilize, let them rest for a few minutes, and then I'll bring them back down to a storage charge again, just to kind of exercise the cells, you know, kind of stretch their legs a little bit. Uh, it doesn't hurt the, ba the battery at all. Um, it's just kind of a good practice. Um, but I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I'm gonna go tend to all these batteries. I got a lot of work to do. I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Hope everybody gets a full belly. And uh, if the weather holds out, uh, hopefully this weekend I'm going to get to test fly my big horn and get a little, a little video action of my buddy's uh, E-Flight Cub. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Till the next episode, peace.